Folks, one of the keys if you find, this is kind of specialized, you may not have landlocked Chinook below your river, and it may be trout, and guys, if you've watched the show, I've killed rainbow trout, brown trout, cutthroat, the same technique right here. Um, if you've got a system where you're fishing up above, the reservoir's got great walleye fishing, or it's got great smallmouth bass fishing, these guys right here, they'll work. This technique right here is the best river bait right there that I've ever found, and it's just a eighth ounce sled head jig with this little bass minnow and this is just a the gulp alive minnow they call it and uh, it's their second generation of gulp um, it's different than the stuff you buy in the packages it comes in that tub now and, and it's packaged in fluid um, this is an emerald shiner pattern but it's very very you can see how nimble it is see that it doesn't take much to get that tail jumping around but in the case of these chinook if i was working this for smallmouth, i might be ripping it through here a lot faster trying to get more of a reaction strike out of them all i'm doing with this for these chinook and the same thing for the rainbow there's a lot of rainbow in here and there's just not we're not picking many up because these chinook get in here and drive them out but what i want to do just like chinook in the river they're sitting down in the bottom so what i got to do is i just cast this guy out and just keep in mind, the jig head weight's really going to depend on your current. You can't take that as a gospel. Um, quarter ounce, three-eighths ounce if you've got fast current. Uh, typically for me, eighth ounce, three-sixteenth right in that neighborhood. But all I'm doing is just tossing it out. We've got a back eddy that comes in. It's just forming a big dish in here. And all I'm doing is real short hops, real, real short hops. What I'm trying to do is get that jig in front of those fish down low and just pop it, pop it right in front of them. And what that popping does, instead of a big lift and set down, what that quick titch, twitch does is it gets a reaction out of them. It just gets them to, in their brain, they know when something's trying to get away, they need to smack it. And that's all I'm doing. Just kind of just little, there was one right there, guys, just like that. Little quick hops, just one, two, one, two, three. But you don't want to let this thing just go out there and sit because it's going to get stuck. So those quick hops keep it down low, and they get that, they force that reaction strike, that natural reaction that they have when something tries to dart away. So let's keep that in mind. Just work this bait according to the species. You know, small mouth, I might have my, my pull down low really popping this thing, getting it two, three feet under the surface. Um, but for the Chinook and the rainbows, I like to keep it right down in the basement and just pop it right in front of their face and get that reaction out of them.